And the Dolphins playing their first ever D1 home game against a D1 opponent, and LeMoyne wins the tap. They'll move from right to left on your screen. Weak side rebound to Sutherland. Long up court pass. This one finds McClure, and he's got the fast break layup. Assist to um, Luke Sutherland on that LeMoyne fast break. Two for two. So bad luck for LeMoyne. Here's Cleary with an answer three. That's good from the left corner. Something Guy. LeMoyne was not able to do on the road was answer. Right side pass to Cleary. Ball fakes. And now gets the return bounce pass. Top of the key, three. Bullseye. Kai Cleary on fire. He's made four straight shots. Has a game high 11, and LeMoyne's up a game high five. He drives baseline, choked off by Salter, who takes the ball right away from him. There was some contact there, no call. And here's a bounce pass to, uh, oh, what a beautiful transition that time. Mascara and Sutherland on the back, back and forth, and it leads to a trans slam by Sutherland, the trailer. Oh, misses and then throws the ball away, and Sutherland picks it off the floor. Here's a trail three by A.J. Dantzler, and it's good. A.J. Dantzler inbound. They get it into Cleary, left wing. He had the hot touch early. Now it's Owens. Feeds Mascara, top of the key three, bullseye! A much better looking shot from Mascara. He was set square to the basket and a beautiful pass right to his chest. That's a great assist. He was undersized in their transition year at D1. Johnson around the right side. Into the paint, pull up, jumper for the tie is good with 3.0 seconds to go. And that'll be it as the Dolphins cannot get a shot off. And Lemoyne, he can't get the ball inbounded. Lemoyne not happy because Connor Christian said stay between the Dolphins yes. and the ball and didn't let them didn't get let out them. of bounds to pick it up. So it's Kai Cleary now into the paint. Around two players, lays it up and in with the left hand. And what a stretch with the left hand for Kai Cleary. His non-dominant hand, he passed it to Persia. Left side to Sutherland. Still hasn't shot in the second half. Or actually, no, he has not. Jump pass to the left side. Owens for a three-pointer. Nothing but net. Osife for Owens. Back out to Cornish. Paul fake on a three. Drives baseline and throws a wraparound pass right to Cleary. Tenth turnover for Dartmouth. And McLaughlin just throws his towel down onto the bench. And here's a nice reverse layup by Sutherland. The long arms and the beautiful finish. Sutherland with 18 to tie Cleary for game high. And Lemoyne's up seven. Fence by Johnson. And Luke Sutherland says, time for me to take over. Here's McClure. Jumps the pass, Sutherland, wide open three left wing, bullseye! You knew it was gonna go up and in when he had that wide open look. 24, game high total for Sutherland, and LeMoyne's got its largest lead, 15. Mascara. Dartmouth defense scrambles to the right hey, side of the court. They can take chances, they've only got two team fouls. Why not? Here's Mascara for a three off the dribble, and it's good! He's made two in a row for the first time this year. He's now the second player in double figures for Dartmouth with 10. And LeMoyne needs to just give him that shot, not give up a three-point play De opportunity. Oh, wow. De Persia with a nice take with the left hand, his dominant hand, and scores his first basket of the game. With anything that's dangerous. Sutherland jumps a pass to McClure. Five seconds to shoot. McClure has to fire one up, and it's good. McClure with his second triple has eight. LeMoyne up by 24. Here's a three-point jumper by Robinson off the rim. No good. McClure tracks down the rebound, and that will do it. Had a lot of rebounds today, so fitting that he ends the game with one. The Dolphins outscored Dartmouth 44-18 to in a second-half avalanche, and they win their first-ever D1 game against a D1 opponent at home. Yes. 80-54. to D1 game.